offering ACL tear out of four people, only one person actually returns and stays injury free. It goes beyond the knee. It's not only about the knee. I've helped athletes to get back to playing the sport they love off your knee injury. I've literally had people come to me with knee problems and that, that's what their rehab looked like. And now it's no wonder that their knee is still not feeling good or they don't feel confident going back to the sport. And your knees start screaming again. It's too much force on your knees. They also provide a ton of healing. What's up? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this video. I know you've probably clicked on this video because you've struggled with a knee injury yourself. You're rehabbing it right now. You've rehabbed it in the past. It's still not good. You're still having those lingering issues, pain, the range of motion is not back. Now in this video, I want to show you three levels of knee rehab. And what do I mean by levels? Well, the first level, level one is the one most actually get to, right? But it's not enough. We're seeing it in the statistics. So many athletes are getting re-injured. I think if we're talking about ACL tears, only about 50% that actually had an ACL tear get back to their sport. And out of those 50%, another 50% re-injure themselves. So the success rate is 25%. And that is just a really good example to show us that the rehab, the rehab at that level, level one is not good enough. Still, most are doing that one because it's a stat, right? The level two is much better, much, much more effective in terms of not re-injuring yourself, really making sure you're strengthening that knee, getting that full range of motion back and actually realistically getting back to your sport, right? Not getting back level one, most of the people get back, not even having the strength, the core strength, let's say they had before, right? But you got injured before. So you want to get even stronger than before, right? And there's much more that can obviously get wrong. And that's at level three. We're going to look at level three. It's, it goes beyond the knee. It's not only about the knee. It's about other structures, other parts of your body as well that we need to make sure they're working properly, they're strong enough so we can minimize the risk of injury. Now, who am I to tell you all of these levels and then tell you, yeah, level one is the worst, level two better, level three is the best? I'm applying basically common sense here and applying my experience as well. Like I've helped athletes to get back to playing the sport they love off your knee injury. And you're going to realize as well, as I walk through this, it all makes sense. And most of the time we could prevent rehabs going wrong or not, not being pushed far enough by stopping to worry about time. Because it's really not about time. It's about the ability you have within your knee in your whole body that tells us when we can go back to your sport and how and what we need to do as a next step, right? So level one, most of the people that get to a normal rehab, normal rehab process, obviously you're gonna wanna strengthen the muscles around your knee. That's what you're told, that's what you're doing. You're strengthening the quads, the hamstrings, you're doing some calf raises. You try to get at least 90 degree range of motion back. But often it doesn't really go much further than that. I've literally had people come to me with knee problems and that, that's what their rehab looked like. And now it's no wonder that their knee is still not feeling good or they don't feel confident going back to the sport because it goes further than level one. It's pretty simple. It's only focusing on the muscles around your knee, stretching some areas, maybe some foam rolling, stuff that isn't really most effective in order to get your knee pain-free and let it stay pain-free and also to get the range of motion back, right? Level two is much more efficient. And here I want to go more in detail because level one, if you if you relate to level one, you know you've, you've not yet done enough to be able to go back to your sport. There needs to be more done because your knee, what actually holds your knee together, it's not the muscles, it's the tendons and the ligaments. There's also cartilage in your knee and all of these connective tissues can grow. It's shown through deep knee bends though, primarily through deep knee bends. So what we want to do, obviously we want to get the range of motion back and that helps us to then get really strong in those deep knee bends as well. Not only try and push, like they try to push Neymar into a full deep knee bend, right? It's horrible what they've done, but that's a completely different uh, topic of his ACL. Uh, tear. But level two really focuses on rebuilding, regaining that range of motion. How do we do that? We have floss bands, for example, right? We can wrap them around, let <laughs> it come down. We can wrap them around our knee. I'll blend in a video how we're doing that and how 
we're actually staying in our pain-free range by wrapping the floss bands around which help help our joint to feel more stable they support our joint they also provide a ton of healing now how how does a floss band provide healing to your knee right it's it's actually pretty magic it's more so the magic of what your body is actually capable of but the floss bands help you to do that so by by wrapping them around restricting the blood flow restricting blood from pumping out but blood is still pumping in it gets you get an, an amazing pump in your knee right as you go and contract your muscles it go up and down an amazing pump in your knee and then when you take your floss bands off there's a lot of blood rushing into that area and blood is essentially what heals your knee what what brings the nutrients to heal your knee so flossing is just one way a really efficient way to make sure we get that full range of motion back and we are not working through pain right we really want to avoid pain just to be sure that we're not making things worse but actually improving one percent at a time so there's no rush again you don't have to think oh for that amount of time you need to be back but if you apply floss bands if you focus on rebuilding through a full range of motion strengthening the connective tissues and ligaments cartilage in your knee then you're going to have not only faster progress but you're also going to make sure <laughs> the things that actually hold your knee together and essentially what what got injured most of the time it's not a muscle injury uh, in your knee there's no muscles it's a tendon a ligament injury cartilage injury meniscus and that's what we need to strengthen that's what we need to regrow level two is all about that focus still on the knee now what is level three about well level three is mostly about your feet ankles and lower legs because if you think about let, let's take a ferrari as an example would you drive a ferrari with the tires of a bicycle right you have a ferrari strong engine everything perfect but you have the tires of a bicycle the small tiny tires of the bicycle on the ferrari would you drive with it you wouldn't right it wouldn't end well you can't really navigate it if you try to uh hit the brakes it's probably not going to work well to slow down all that force if you have literally such tiny tires so basically if you don't have the tires to navigate that power to make sure you're going smoothly and safely most most importantly then it's not going to end well right and the same thing applies to your body if you have weak feet ankles lower legs that are and working properly this takes a toll on your knees because your knees are now suffering every time you jump every time you run the forces that should be absorbed here at your ankles at your feet at your lower leg they move up to your knee and your knees start screaming again it's too much force on your knees and essentially we're putting so much forces when we play football when we play a contact sport when we're running when we're jumping a lot of forces are actually put on our body right and we want to make sure that they're distributed evenly and absorbed with the parts that need to absorb the forces so your feet ankles lower legs they play a crucial role to absorb the forces so they don't excessively move up to your knee right now talking about the feet lower legs and ankles that's just one part below the knee but above the knee as well we have the hips and other joint right if you're tight in the hips if your hips are strong uh, are weak and tight at the same time it also doesn't help you need to function properly it doesn't help your lower body to work holistically so what you want to do simply is to build strong and mobile hips as well it's not only going to help you to be more explosive more athletic actually feel better in your body run faster get into deeper positions it's a no-brainer basically so if you had a knee injury take this as an opportunity to not only rebuild your knee which we do in level two but take it to level three and rebuild strengthen your ankles your feet your lower legs to a point where you've never had it before where you literally you're flying on your feet that's the level i'm trying to get to i'm i've realized it's so important obviously working on the knee perfect i had tendinitis working on the knee directly really important strengthening the tendon but what about what is below the knee right is spraining your ankle is the best example for that because it's shown that after an ankle sprain you're more likely to have an hamstring injury because now your foot is not working properly right you know after an ankle sprain 
it all gets stiff around your ankle your body stiffens the area trying to make it more stable because obviously the ankle sprain happened when it wasn't stable and straight but that stiffness doesn't help you at all because you're not strengthening it right if you haven't strengthened it and your ankle is still stiff you're at four times more likely to re-injure your ankle like to get another ankle sprain it's also shown so fix your ankles so that those lower extremities your ankles your foot your lower leg they work properly no excessive forces go up to your knee and you're actually doing what you can i know there's a lot you can do but this is really what you can do if you want to make sure you're at a good point when you get back to your sport and you don't need to rush it there's really no point in taking that risk and trying to get back to your sport earlier being less strong less fast less explosive high risk of injury and the last one is it's the most important one because if you injure yourself again you co you can start all over again and we we want to minimize that it, that that risk obviously it can always happen i'm not telling you if you get to level three you're, you're bulletproof for life but i think you get it like you can do so much in order for you to minimize the risk of a re-injury and not be part of the statistics where you offer an acl tear out of four people only one person actually returns and stays injury free right it's ridiculous so i hope i hope this helped i hope this maybe opened your eyes and motivated you to take those further steps really make sure you're working on all these areas properly with a proper plan and get to a certain level like a certain standard you want to reach it so if you think that makes sense and you really want to get to a certain level you're taking this seriously then i'm really happy to help you one-on-one -on -one. but you can also just join the reborn circle a free community with free guides on rebuilding your knee ankles hips and join us there join the team make sure you're actually doing something for your body your body is worth so much you don't want to stay in knee pain forever especially at that young age you want to be able to continue to enjoy the sport you love and even if you watch this and you're already 30 40 50 i don't know make sure try and get back to the sport you love i think it's so important and this is also what initiated the whole story for me. Having a passion in your life, especially sports, football for me is so valuable and we don't want a simple, a simple knee injury that can get much more complicated if you don't rehab it well to keep us away from doing, from following our passion, right? I hope this makes sense. I hope this video helped you. And as I said, join us in the Reborn Circle or reach out to me for me to help you one-to-one -one and make sure you come back stronger than ever. Keep believing today and see you in the next video. Peace.